Commander Scotch Whiskey of the Roddenberries. We are here in Star Trek Las Vegas celebrating 30 years of the next generation. And it's time to rock! Let the game begin. My parents were Trekkies, um, so it was just basically what was going to be on TV late at night. And I just wanted to hang out, eat ice cream, and not go to bed. I fought it for a while, but eventually I was just like, you know what? It's in my blood, it's in my system. So. In my opinion, it's one of the best shows that ever came on TV. It's a classic, and that's why. I, mean, I don't know what else to say about it, but it's a classic. Uh, it's what my family introduced me to in Star Trek. I really related to Data a lot. I recognized LaForge from Reading Rainbow, and that kind of sucked me in as well. And it introduced me to the entire franchise, and I'm very thankful for the next generation. Because it's awesome? Do you need a different remark? It represents the best of humanity. Do you understand? Answer! It's the one that I grew up with. Um, so I saw all of those episodes when they were first run when I was a kid. And each episode had a great lesson or some kind of a, a moral or a meaning. And uh, I think that was developmental for me and it means a lot. Absolutely it matters. Why wouldn't it matter? It's, it's important. It kind of carried on the tradition of Gene Roddenberry's vision for the future. I have my own personal belief and love of TNG. Um, I was brought up with it. It is my series. Since I was brought up with TNG, I love the fact that we have a bridge of characters who are a family, who, who work together. Conflict doesn't have to be two of your main characters arguing and fighting and shooting each other. Conflict can be uh, an issue on the ship that two of them are trying to solve or an argument somewhere else that they might have a, a debate about and even disagree but be able to come to a resolution together. That's what I love about TNG. It kind of shows, in many ways, it shows us at our best and what we could be. TOS did that as well, but, but for some reason, Next Generation, um, I would want to be on the bridge with, with Captain Picard and Riker and those people and I'd love to work with them because I know they would value my input, my opinion, and they would be genuine and honest with me. Kirk, on the other hand, might tell me to just go piss off somewhere because I don't know what I'm talking about. But, uh, you know. You are in a race against time. It's still very topical, the same problems that we had when TNG was produced, we're still having today. Well, my mom watches it all the time and I didn't think I was gonna like it as much as I did but the characters are really really cool characters they have a lot of depth and feeling and emotion and I really like it. The, the original series was Monster of the Week with a message but Next Generation took it to the next level by adding this sense of Starfleet nobility, equality, and inclusion, and appreciation of differences. TNG was the heart. I came from the original series generation, and we needed more. Now we're in the 24th century, and all the same cultural issues are still addressed, but they're addressed in a more, um, more educated way, a more humanistic way, more of a reflection of our own humanity. Um, actually, my parents were into the original series, Star Trek, and we would watch TNG together as a kind of a way for us to have quality time and bond and do family activities. It was one of those things where I liked the possibility of the world being a more harmonious place, and it's this lovely utopia, and everyone just gets along, and that science and math has just taken us to all the places we hope it will take us to eventually. The next generation is the reason why I'm an optimist and believe in the goodness of humanity. It makes you believe in a future where people can get along, where race and ethnicity and species don't matter, and where we can just live our lives, explore the galaxy, and just want to learn more about ourselves and this universe that we live in. Why does TNG matter? Uh, because it's very influential for how we should all try to be as people when meeting other cultures. TNG a lot of fans are really concerned 
In the same way that Discovery is bringing a lot of concern, people were accustomed to uh, the original series and were afraid of change. Over the years, it was clear that TNG has a clear place in Star Trek history and is a beautiful part of the story of Star Trek and Gene Roddenberry's vision. I think TNG matters for the same reason that it mattered when Gene wanted or decided to take it on. TNG, you can almost argue, resonates more than TOS only because it takes that next step. And I think that that next step is something that we are hopefully on the way towards as a human race, uh, but something that we still need to strive to. And, and I think that's why it can still resonate very easily 30 years later. The original series tackled a lot of, of the time issues, and I think TNG is a little more uh, modernized. Not that TOS doesn't apply you know, their you know, morality tales, but I think uh, they had a little more room to grow, they had a little more room to do stuff. TNG is the best show there is, giving us inspiration and hope that there could be a better future. I, I like TNG because uh, the best part I think is just Patrick Stewart for me for TNG. I, I love Patrick Stewart. I love Patrick Stewart. I think he is amazing. As he grew into that character, he uh, they, they started writing for him. It was wonderful. Uh, Inner Light is one of the most beautiful, uh, one of the most beautiful episodes. TNG matters to me because of episodes like Darmok and Jalad at Tanagra, where they're about gaining understanding and learning about other people rather than instant aggression. TNG matters because it's about love. It's not always about fighting. It's sometimes about achieving some sort of mutual understanding. Uh, why does TNG matter? TNG matters because it brought Star Trek back into the 20th and for, like forward into the 21st century as well. Because it is a continuation of the original series. Don't shout. TNG is more relevant than ever because look around you. And all the elements of what shouldn't be happening uh, already happened in TNG. And they show us and what can be and what the future should be and what we have to fight for constantly to keep. Our openness and the beauty of what the human race can and should be. The most important thing to remember is we're vulnerable to ourselves. Do you understand? Answer! I'm a fan of that Jean-Luc. That Picard is something oh. else. We will have him. As a follow-up to the original series, it presents a hopeful look at the future. There's so much dystopianism that having something positive that we can work for that shows that humanity will survive and that we can cooperate and we can become better over time. I think that's why TNG matters.